Hello, today I've got an AI writer for you. I know what you're thinking, not another one, but this one bears looking at because it's got a few interesting features I've not seen elsewhere. It's called seowriting.ai and I'll put a link below. It's probably going to be an affiliate link. When you sign up, one of the nice things is you can test this out for free. You can generate five documents and you can bring your own API key. So that's super useful. It means that you're not having to pay over the odds for words because it's actually dirt cheap. If you can find something that uses your API key, you can get a lot of content for not very much money. When you log in, you get a very simple dashboard. You can see I've been testing this out and this is still very much in development and they've recently just released, for example, uh, blog images as well. Now they do have various options available. I've not really been using these. I find these a little bit behind some of the competition. So if you wanted to get a start on a product review, for example, you have to sort of build it out rather than just giving a link or giving some information. It's a little bit cumbersome compared to other AI products that can give you a head start in your blogging. The one I've been testing out is one click blog post. So all you need to do is enter your keyword and you can hit generate a title. So you don't even have to think of the title. You down here, you can select language, article size. You've got your tone of voice. So let's say, uh, let's have a look, authoritative. And so just, just so you're aware, medium is quite long actually, two to three and a half thousand words. If I just select small, that's 12 to 2400 and large uh, goes bigger again. So I'm gonna leave it on medium. This is a new section. It will use AI to generate images. Now, the one problem at the moment, which I know they're already working on, is that this will generate a good eight or so images, whereas you probably only want one for the featured image, but they're already working on that. You can select a style. So let's choose photo. I've used cartoon. I'll show you some examples. If you have keywords you want to include, you can, you can pop them here. I haven't gone that deep into this. I've simply just got a title that I want it to write about. And then down the bottom, you can see, you can choose frequent asked questions, tables, H3, lists, italics, quotes, and these are just yes, no's. And uh, save to, you can have different folders. And at the moment, it's 3.5, but you can at some point be four and whatever four ultra is. And I'm not using my own key, but you can use your own key there if you don't have any credits. Once you've set that up, I mean, that was very easy. That's taken much longer because I'm explaining it. Just hit run, done. Now you can can then go back and line up another one and another one, and they, they will run one after the other. And so at the moment, they've got this mass generation, which doesn't actually do anything straight away. That's coming soon. So the only way to mass generate would be to go in here, put a second set in, and then wait for them to generate one after the other. So I gave it an interesting one recently. I said, um, <laughs> what can you learn from cats in change management? And this is what it came out with. And all these images are AI generated. They're a cartoon image and I have to say it was really good. So we've got the little cat image, adaptability and flexibility, cartoons. These are all um, AI generated. And as you go down, embrace curiosity and exploration, it actually, it actually fit the topic really well. And I, whenever I've written a blog post like this that I, I like, you see there's, there's a quote, um, I pop it on my website and then I'll share it using a service called Missing Letter. I'll put a link to that below as well if you want to try that. And here it is, and you can see it's been queued up for sharing 53 times, and it's already been shared six times with one click. So this is starting to do the business. Uh, previous ones, that, all the ones below were done before this one, and you can see 11, 14, 14, no shares yet, and no clicks. Whereas this, which is one of the most recent ones, 53 queued six shares. Now, it's quite an interesting article idea, so I'm sure that would uh, play into it, but it just shows you that you can do well. You know, I, I then go in, edit this, and just make sure that it is worth sharing. So if we just have a look where we're we up to. So still at 58%. If I just flick over to the roadmap while it's doing that, you can see in progress, they're adding GPT-4, AI image gener generation options. That's what I was talking about. So 
change um, the numbers. Oh, sorry, there it says only featured image. Um, there is a WordPress plugin. Now, I'm with WP Buzz, and at the moment, it doesn't work. So the idea is that once you've done this, you can then publish it via a plugin, but there's a bit of a conflict at the moment. They're already in talks with my WordPress provider and hopefully get that sorted soon. If I just jump into another article, uh, you can see not only does it do the article, if I tick this here, it's given us the meta title and meta description. We've got a decent number of words. And on this one, you can see it's done a table. So it's formatted the table and all you have to do is press copy and you can just paste that straight into WordPress or whatever blogging platform you're using. It should paste in. I use WordPress as another table. And this was good stuff. Again, I, I actually went in, did a lot of edits and added some extra bits in. But as a first draft, this was super helpful to my writing process. So the article I started generating has now finished. That took maybe six, eight minutes, something like that. And if we go in, so this is the first time I'm seeing this as well. So we've got over 2,000 words. Again, we can see the meta title and meta tags. And we've got uh, the images AI generated. That's actually really good. And oh, I see. So it's, it's actually done a bit of a mixture. So your financial situation, that's one looking a little bit stressed. We've got a table. We've got another random image of a timeline. I might not use that one. I'll have to read this properly. Property details, that's really good. Mortgage terms, what you need to know. This is, this is really good. It's quite a striking image. Where's his legs gone? Not sure. We've got some quotes as well. I see that's better. So the images are a little bit hit and miss, but to be fair, they have said that uh, it's just been done. It's, it's come out of beta at the moment and they need testing and feedback and they're going to keep um, uh, improving that hopefully. And we've got the frequently asked questions at the bottom. And so if I go back, you'll see that on the dashboard, we've now used see 24 out of 25 images and I've generated only three that's about three articles so I hope that they adjust this to allow it to um, be just one per article otherwise you're going to be burning through those in terms of pricing right now you can try this for free 5,000 words or use your own open AI key and you can generate five one-click blog posts so you can go give this a spin, as I said, put the link below. If you want to remove that cap, you can subscribe. It's not actually that expensive, $20 a month for quite a lot of, of words, or you can use your own key, which is a good idea. You could get through all those words and then it's very cheap to generate, um, generate the actual articles using your own open AI key. So we go 75K words, then we jump up to, what's that, $60 a month and, uh, $100, $140 a month. That's if you don't, you don't really want to do that if you don't want to use your own key. I would actually recommend um, if you're going to pay, just do that one. At the moment though, they're not saying how many AI images you get. It just says expandable limit. So hopefully they'll bring a bit more clarity for that. So this is a decent little AI writer. I've tried a few recently and this is Definitely one of the ones I've started to lean on a little bit more. If you want to learn more, I'll put a link below. Thanks for watching.